Hello, everybody. Welcome to Monday. The S&P 500 was up 1% today. And what was really spectacular about today was just how much was up. Uh, almost every index was up. Oil was up. The you know interest rates on the um, treasuries went down, which means the price went up. Uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies went up. It was a pretty amazing day, actually. It's a little bit rare to see so many pieces going up, especially fairly strongly like we saw today, uh, which is good, really, because the last couple of weeks have been kind of soft, but the money's coming back in. I talked about on Friday, you know, when you look at those leading economic indicators and they're going up, uh, and not down, and the market's coming down, that really is often a time to buy. And obviously, that seems to be what was happening today to a large degree. But there is something interesting happening uh, right now that I want to share with you. And you know, we'll see what happens with this. Uh, but let me share my screen. And we've talked about this before. We call this the nine boxes. Uh, this is through Morningstar. Uh, and again, you've got you know, large, mid, and small cap stocks. Value stocks, you know, companies considered, you know, low cost versus their earnings. Growth stocks uh, considered fast growing companies that might be more expensive. And then core, you know, just really are in between. So what I'm showing you here right now is the last three months. And so you can see, you know, growth has been underperforming value by quite a bit. If we look at, you know, the last one month, you know, we can see that same thing here with growth kind of underperforming there. Uh, but look at the last one week and you can see really a flip uh, in total where growth has outperformed value. Now, one week isn't enough time for an overall trend uh, to be you know, in place, but it is something to watch for. Uh, we have seen a tremendous amount of drop off on the growth side uh, and there's some bottom fishing coming in. Is that going to be enough to turn it around? We've had several uh, false moves where it kind of came in and then fell apart again. Uh, but one thing that's interesting about today is this. This is fairly unusual, all green. Uh, now, again, growth did better. And matter of fact, the big winning area here is the stuff that drives the indexes the most. And these are the big companies you're familiar with. This is Apple and Google and Facebook and Tesla and what have you. Uh, obviously had a good day today, some bottom fishing coming in, uh, buying some of those particular stocks. But you, And you see that growth still outdid value, but there was money made in all of the different categories, which is really, uh, again, not that common. So you know, have to watch out what happens here. Now, we still have kind of both in our portfolios. We still have the growth pieces uh, from the in the taxable accounts, you know, that basically we've held on to because they have high capital gains. And then we have some of the value stuff, uh, the reopening stocks and what have you really in our IRA type of accounts, again, because, uh, you know, that was an easy area to make that change when that rotation happened back in the middle of February. But uh, it will be interesting to see. There's a lot of really powerful names uh, inside of some of these. Uh, the big stocks that we're talking about, you know, didn't fall that much, uh, but a lot of small growth stocks really fell hard. Uh, and some of them are starting to be repurchased again. And we'll see, you know, kind of those arc, what we call the ARC investment stocks. A lot of the innovative technology and genomics and what have you. Uh, and, and those were up a lot today, too. So we'll see what happens going forward. It's something that we'll watch for and continue to look at. But really, really good market. Uh, excellent day today. Uh, you know, things being that broadly up is just really fantastic to see. It's very exciting. So look forward to seeing what's going to happen here as we go. Uh, hopefully things continue to develop. I do think, you know, with today's action, you'll see at least some momentum going forward uh, from that. Uh, probably see some, you know, additional gains uh, at least earlier this week. We'll see what happens going forward. But look forward to uh, seeing what's going to happen tomorrow. I will talk to you then. Thank you.